To prepare for track and field day tomorrow, I'm going to read a book for you from Epic. And if you would like to go and read this yourself, you may too. Make me the best at track and field. More young athletes participate in track and field than any other sports in the United States. Every year, approximately 1.5 million boys and girls are runners, jumpers, or throwers, far more than the annual 1 million football players and nearly 1 million basketball players. Some young athletes will go on to become world champions. The greatest athletes today come from different backgrounds, and their stories are dramatically different too. Usain Bolt was a wild child, the boy with too much energy before he became lightning bolt. Jen Sir didn't start pole vault vaulting until she was almost through college. Aries Merritt suffered a rare medical disorder that nearly ended his hurt hurtling career. How did these and other champions end up on the path to greatness? Read on to find out what the best of the best have in common and what you can learn from them and what you can put on your own road to success. Sprint like Usain Bolt. Nobody knows who the world's smartest person is. Who is the best artist on the planet? People can debate that too. But when it comes to sprinting, the answer is clear. Usain Bolt is the world's fastest man. The unofficial title goes to the winner of the 100 meter dash at the Olympic Games. Bolt won the race at three straight Olympics, 2008, 2012, and 2016. Bolt holds the world record of 9 and 5,800 seconds for the 100 meters. He did that in tw the 2009 race in Berlin, Germany. He also holds a world record of 19.1900 seconds in the 200 meter dash. And he was a final runner or anchor of Jamaica's 4x100 meter relay team that set a world record of 38 and 8400 seconds in 2012. Where does such talent come from? Right here, the caption says, Bolt claims he ate approximately 1,000 chicken nuggets in 10 days during the 2008 Olympics in Beijing, China. He now eats healthier food. Usain St. Leo Bolt was born in 1986 in a small village on the island of Jamaica. Usain was faster than Grease Lightning from an early age. Hey, that's a simile. When he was eight years old, a teacher promised him a box lunch if he won the race. Usain knew the lunch would have jerk chicken, roasted sweet potatoes, rice, and peas. He won that race and many more since then. In high school, Usain continued growing to his final height of 6 feet 5 inches. That's very tall for a sprinter. His height meant it took him longer for his vitals to get out of the starting block. But he overcame that and began winning, winning world titles at the age of 15. William, Wilma Rudolph. She was the 20th of 22 children in her family. Whoa! That's a lot of kids. I thought my grandma had a lot with 13 kids. She had a severe disease called polio when she was a child. Her doctor said she would never walk. But after getting a metal leg brace, Wilma could walk normally by the time she was 12 years old. She became a basketball star and a sprinting legend. In the 1960 Summer Olympics in Rome, Italy, Rudolph became the first American woman to win three gold medals. Like Bolt, she won the 100-200 and anchored the winning relay team. Run like Genzeb Dayeba. Genzeb Dayeba was born to run, or born in the right place to run at least. Genzeb grew up in Ethiopia, a country in eastern Africa. Her hometown, hometown Bekoji? has fewer than 17,000 people living there. Yet people from Bekoji have won more Olympic gold medals than all athletes from India, which has 1.2 billion people. Gen Z has two older sisters who were Olympic medalists and a cousin who won twice at the games. 
she was 13 years old in 2004 when her sister, Tarunishis, Tarunish, won the first of her six Olympic medals. Sister Iguhe won the 10,000 meter silver medalist the same year in Athens, Greece. Tarunish, born almost six years before Gen Z, was great cross country runner too, but she won her but when she won her fifth world title in 2008, she was thinking of her sister. An hour earlier, 17-year-old Jen Zeev had won the under-20 world title. Tarunsh told reporters, Jen Zeev is so young and talented. In time, I expect she will become even stronger and quicker than me. Her prediction came true, the shorter middle distances. Gen Z set three indoor world records in 2014, and in 2015 she was named International Association of Athletics Foundation World Athlete of the Year. That year she set an indoor 5,000 meter world record. Emil Zatopek, she was born in the best of Prague. The name was referred as the hometown Czechoslovakian and the 18th world record. Aries Merritt, hurdler. As a high school freshman, Aries Merritt wasn't a great sprinter, but one day a teammate dared him to jump a fence, which he did. His coach was watching and said, you're going to be a hurdler now. That teammate, teammate's dare turned out to be a stroke of good fortune for Merritt. In 2012, Merritt became first place in the gold win, uh, to win gold in the 110 meter hurdle. I'm going to kind of skip ahead. We do hurdling. And then we have Jen Sir. Jen Sir broke her own world indoor record, the pole vault. So the pole vault is you're running with a long pole, and it um, throws you up into the air, and you have to go over a pole. So she took that big, long post, and it flung her up in the air. Okay. Another. Then we have the long jump, and this is Brittany Reese. Starts with a Coca-Cola. Reese was a Gulfport, Mississippi high school basketball team in 2003 when the track coach came looking for a long jumper. He offered a cold Coke to the player who jumped the furthest. So this is how Brittany got started with the long jump. And so with this one, we did this in school, do you remember, where we ran? We had to see how far we could jump. Okay. Then we have the throw the shot put. So this is this is where you take a weighted ball and you're gonna throw it as far as you can. This is a picture of him. He has some chalk on the side of his head, and he's throwing the shot put. All right. If you'd like to read more, this is a great book on epic that you can read.